Hello and welcome to another edition of Keith Sucks at Starcraft. Let me go and speed this up just for the first few minutes because this is just the boring stuff. I'm playing as the Blue Circ against a, a guy called Runic K or Runic, playing as Red Protoss. And um, we are equally noobish um, as it turns out. Um, <coughs> This is one of my first, you know, real Cirque matches. I, I kind of like Cirque, um, so I wanted to, you know, play a bit more of them. And my strategy here is actually just to forget all about circlings and uh, try and go for Roaches straight ahead. It's a bit of a gamble because if he's a Protoss, and I know he is, um, <coughs> if he uh, if he circles me with some sea lots, I'm done. You know, there's nothing I can do. Thankfully, he doesn't do that. So. Um, <laughs> no harm there. I uh, keep pimping my uh, <coughs> my queen and you know making workers and you know, trying to build up a roach warrant. And my opponent is simply taking up with uh, forge, trying to do some cannons, which I I feel the burn of with my um, with my overload here. But uh, he thankfully survives. Um, hold on, let me just fix that. Um, he is really um, not focused on DPSing at all. He hasn't even made any units. And at this point, with me having um, a handful of roaches here, I could probably take him out. But I don't, because I'm, I play really defensively. Uh, I keep making my roaches, expanding some creep. I make an expansion fairly early on. I don't know if 8 minutes in is early on, but that's when I make it. And my... Um, <laughs> opponent just sits by himself making a, a few robotics facilities and robotics bay and uh, you'll notice he he has he's pretty intent on whoops on building um, um, some rather large units and meanwhile I'm just massing up a lot of roaches and hydralisks uh, completely forgetting about Cirque trying to get a um, a good economy and just pump up um, pump out some units. Um, he makes an expansion down here and you know he, he gets to mine it for a little bit because I don't really have my whole out lords out scouting. And meanwhile he is trying to get a lot of colossi <coughs> figuring he's just gonna go for the, uh, the big units right away. Fortunately it takes a lot of food and it takes a lot of uh, minerals and I don't think that you can support you know several colossi on their own with only one expansion. <coughs> um, I don't do anything. I could probably push through him right now had I known about this, had I even bothered to check, but I didn't. Um, he only has col uh, a couple of colossi and four sea lots. Um, I could probably push through the main entrance, but I could also go through the back, take out a ton of his pylons, and simply uh, take him out like that. He, stri he tries to scout with a poke. <laughs> which doesn't take you know get very long and I am um, I'm peeking around his base but don't spot his overlords or his um, um, colossi considering using uh, an, an idle swarm just to get into his base and then taking him out um, <coughs> my base is looking you know rather you know silly like I'm just trying to get a lot of units this was actually like my my probably in my second real circ match and I tried to get um, a lot of different units up get to know them and and see what I can do with them uh, <coughs> my overlord spots his expansion down here and I figure he shouldn't have that it's completely unprotected so why not take all my units here go down and whack it over Meanwhile, and you know that gets demolished. Meanwhile, he's coming up here with his uh, nine colossi, and this is really dangerous. But I managed to uh, go back and check him out. Uh, he takes out a few drones, my queen and my uh, evolution chamber. But just as are you going to speed this down? Just as he um, he comes along, I get a, a couple of corruptors, which quickly uh, deals with the. Uh, Colossi. This was the first time I got Corruptors and they were really funny. So I upgrade my Great Aspire so I can mutate a few of them into Brute Lords. Um, 
at the same time, I've noticed that he has an expansion over here now. And I figure maybe send my bootlords to say hello. <coughs> this is also completely undefended, and they quickly take it down, um, demolishing everything. And he's still back to one base. Uh, had I known, I could just have gone in and completely, you know, crippled everything. Because he's trying to build Colossi and has a lot of pylons really close. And it would be really easy to uh, <coughs> to simply nuke him down. But I don't. Down here, <coughs> my um, my trusty uh, enemy here is trying to break um, some destructible rocks for this uh, Hyatt Miller field. Uh, brings over some, um, some sealots to help. I have an overlord that notices this. And at the same time, I have an overlord down here wanting to actually take this. He doesn't know that he's carrying seven drones, and he <laughs> he destroys the rocks. I moved my overlord away, like uh, you know, I didn't mean to. Um, the the sea lots go up to die, and I drop my um, <coughs> my drones down here to make a uh, a, a bunch of um, I'm gonna sl slow down, uh, make a hatchery. But little do I know that the match is about to end, because. Um, I decide that I'm going to go down and kill his other expansion at the same time as he's coming back with <gasps> six colossi. <coughs> Probably not a good idea. But, um, no wait, actually I don't think I move these at all. I'm just, just about to move my uh, my brute lords when I spot these coming up to me. Jeez, <coughs> um, I can't even remember what I'm supposed to do here. <coughs> The Colossi walk over towards my base. I think I've spotted them with my Overlord. Maybe not. Um, and I have this whole bunch of Corruptors and um, Brute Lords down there, which is going for his expansion. Then I notice that they're coming up here, and they're dashing up there to try and save the day. But I have so many Hydralisks and Roaches, and he only has six. So they are very, very easy to focus down. And then when he does that, he surrenders the game. There we go.